I feel like I've just made a discovery. You know when you're looking at someone and you think they don't know, and then they just 180 head spin out of nowhere? But yeah, so how can you explain this? First, my science explanation. When you want to see an x-ray of something, you have to give off radiation. I was just thinking how bad the superpower would actually be now, because basically you're giving cancer to everything that you look at. So maybe when you're seeing normally, you give out a slight bit of radiation. Obviously, the light radiates into your eyes, so maybe something radiates back? That sounds a bit retarded. You know when people say, I can feel all the eyes watching me? Maybe that's like a small bit of radiation hitting them, and then they suddenly have the urge to like look around and make eye contact with whatever the source of the radiation was. But that's just an idea. If anyone actually does physics in the comments, please call BS, because I don't want to just look like an idiot for ages. On to the psychic explanation. So the psychic explanation is people are psychic. Great. But another example of precognition, or in cool speak, psychic fucking powers, is when there's two minutes of silence, but then two people start a sentence at exactly the same time. If this hasn't happened to you, then you're probably just that guy who hates all the relatable memes, so you don't count. But the most amazing example of this, like, sentence at the same time thing is when I was waiting for my parents because uh, they had locked us out of the house and I was with my sister and after 20 minutes of complete silence we were just on our phones for ages we just go Snape Snape Zavarus Snape, Snape, Snape Dumbledore. Dumbledore kid you not this was in perfect sync I I don't understand how it happened it's a good story like that's a kind of funny story that you can tell to your friends but the other example that I have is just scary so this one is a lot worse than the Snape Snape thing this one's really scary so I get like 10 calls from this as my iPhone puts it no call or ID and so I put my phone down and I was like well, what the hell is probably just a prank call or some bullshit get back onto my computer and then the first suggestion on the YouTube videos is a song called caller ID. So I'm just like, what the fuck? And I click on it. It's a little sample of what it sounds like. Who is that? Holy shit, I was creeped out. I was just like, I'm pretty sure there's a demon trying to fucking contact me. If anything like this has happened to you, leave it in the comments so I don't feel like I'm the only person a demon's trying to contact. This made me feel kind of special, but not in a good way. But the other explanation for that, the scientific explanation, is that humans are always looking for coincidences. That's just how our minds work. Like, we will remember a coincidence that will stick with us for the rest of our lives. Even though they're rare, you remember them as if they're happening all the time. I don't know, that's apparently how human minds work. I got that from Vsauce episode. I don't really live up to Vsauce, but I tried. If you enjoyed it as well, so I enjoy being in the video, please leave a comment. Don't even bother liking, just leave a comment so I know that people exist. Because right now it feels like I'm just talking to myself about random bullshit and demons. Who is